Hello and welcome to Oliver. In today's video we will explore the fascinating world of Java Message Service, commonly known as JMS. So, grab a seat, buckle up, and let's dive right into it. What is Java Message Service, JMS? JMS, or Java Message Service, is an API designed for enterprise messaging products. It plays a crucial role in establishing reliable and efficient communication between different systems. Think of it as a postal service for Java components, facilitating the seamless sharing of messages in a queue system. What does JMS architecture consist of? JMS clients. This is nothing but Java-based software programs that produce and consume messages. Messages. It is the objects through which JMS clients i.e., sender and receiver share the information and interact with a messaging system. JMS Provider It provides the interface for distributed Java applications to share messages. JMS Messaging Domain is classified into two categories. Point-to-Point -point PTP Messaging Domain PTP follows the concept of message queues where senders send the message and that gets directed into the queue. A receiver on the other side retrieves the message from the assigned queues. It stores each message and ensures the designated receiver picks them up. If the respective receiver doesn't receive the message, it will expire. The following are some of the characteristics of PTP. There's only one receiver for each message. No need for both parties to be online while sending the message. The receiver can acknowledge the successful processing of a message at any time. No timing dependencies. Publishers slash subscriber, pub slash sub, domain. It is also known as a topic message. In pub slash sub, both products and applications operate on different principles. It lets the identities of the publisher and subscriber be anonymous. Publisher subscriber domain characteristics include, for one message there may be multiple receivers, both the publishers and subscribers have timing dependencies, whenever anyone subscribes to the topic, they will keep getting the message but need to stay active, durable subscription features help to overcome the timing dependency and let them receive the message while they're not active. What is JMS used for? JMS is used when enterprises want their software to run smoothly and operate independently. JMS is used for component flexibility, business-to-business e-commerce, loose-coupled operations, smooth data interchange in corporate, and asynchronous communication. Final words. JMS provides efficiency and flexibility for enterprises to establish seamless communication. It will not only provide a robust communication model but also promote agility. For more enlightening reads, head over to our blog at olibr.com slash blog. And hey, if you're on the hunt for exciting job opportunities, jump over to olibr.com and sign up. Unearth your potential, ignite your passion. Join our vibrant community across LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Threads. Stay tuned for more exciting tech insights. Like, share, and subscribe for the latest updates. Until next time, keep innovating, 